share this occasion with the wider Jamaican family by holding the event here, right here at the Louis Bennett Theater. Today is indeed a good day. God is good? All the time? Today we celebrate with one of our indigenous cultures, revivalism, a part of our distinguished legacy. Revival time brings together shepherds and sheep of the revival movement from far and wide in a full day convention and revival choirs in praise sing off. What a day. I understand you had a lovely day earlier today. Things went very well. Let me hear hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our revival culture has been one of the formidable ways through which our people are able to rally under the banner of African spirituality and survive the horrors of slavery. Our people adopted the religion forced on us by the Europeans by infusing in it elements of African spirituality. And this fusion of Europe and Africa on the altar of spirituality was one of the outpourings of our people that helped them to overcome the most horrific system ever created, slavery. By engaging the spirit of God and that of the ancestors, our people were able to cut through and clear the way for the resurgence of African pride and dignity. Armed with drums and pencils and the various things that you know is associated with revivalism, our people were able to restore self-worth and collective redemption. Cut and clear. Today, Revival Time carries an equally powerful message as we face off with the negative energies of violence and crime that continue to besiege our beloved country. As our people seem, or some elements in this society seem hell-bent on self-destruction, Revival Time offers a new awakening, a new dawn in which to cut through all the negative things and clear the way for the resurgence of African community that was at the center of our ability to outwit and overcome evil. Don't you trouble Zion. Became an anthem that raised the spirit of African ancestral pedigree as we faced off against all the negatives that were brought into this society. Today we turn it as we use culture-based interventions to face off with the challenges of violence and crime. Today's staging of Revival Time, my brethren, offers a sing-off, an occasion to sing and dance in true revival style and ward off the negative spirits and energies that plague our land. The sing-off beckons us to unite our voices in one song that will bring us back together while we travel the road of prosperity. Sing Off offers us new opportunities to sing a new song. We who sat by the rivers of Babylon for the wicked carried us away captivity and required us to sing a song. And so, in the name of God and our ancestors, sing off, revivalists, Sing off all the revivalists gathered here today. Sing and dance and praise the Lord. I want to say to our visitors here tonight, join us while we sing. Join us while we get up and praise God and worship in true revival style. Be proud of who you are. Never let society tell you that you can't sing and praise in true revival style. Amen. The many people who are baptized in other churches, Anglican, Catholic, them go to church in the morning and in the evening, what them do? Wrap them in and jump revival. Say praise the Lord. 
I want to use the opportunity to thank the most honorable Edward Siaga for being one of those who from the early days recognized and gave you your respect, who brought your religion to the forefront, who slept six across a bed with revivalists at Salt Lane and worshipped with you. We thank God that he's here with us tonight. You are proud Africans, you are proud Jamaicans, you are proud revivalists. I look forward to enjoying this evening with you. I look forward to next year is going to be big. I want you to stand up and say that. Next year is going to be big. There are a lot of young revivalists here tonight. There are a lot of young people who worship in the revival church. We must not allow our traditional culture to be diminished and we must not allow our traditional culture to die. And so I want to say to all of you here tonight, I'm proud of you. I'm very proud of you. I'm just going to ask you as I leave the podium, I want you to raise one of the most lively revival courses that you can find. Mr. Siago keeps complaining that more and more he's seen modern day revivalism rather than the real thing. So as we get modern and we move into the digital age, things may change a bit. But we cannot forget our roots. We cannot forget those powerful songs and those powerful hymns and those powerful prayers that carried you along your journey. And so, I don't know who is going to volunteer. Holy Rock, oh, Rock, Holy. Holy Rock, oh, Rock, Holy. Cause I am children.
Historian who is always, anywhere you find the Bible is, he's always in the midst to support. Amen? Amen. So 